napkins have been used in a variety of ways, from tablescapes to floral arrangements and candle holders. It is an introduction to fall, and in fact, it is my most favorite time of the year. Supplies that you will need include a small dessert plate and a small candle holder and some satin black spray paint. One medium-sized pumpkin from Dollar Tree, some faux leaves, and your acrylic paint includes Blended Gold by Deco Arts, Pewter Gray by Apple Barrel, and Lustrous Red by Aline's, and Old Ivy by Apple Barrel. So you want to start out by painting all of the grooves in your pumpkin with Old Ivy. You will start at the top and then you will move to the bottom all around the pumpkin. You can leave the stem part for later because I like to hold on to the stem to help me to paint without getting my hands too messy with paint. And it doesn't matter if the lines are crooked because if you look at real live pumpkins, you will find that they are all irregular. If you get one that's too perfect, you can probably say that it is a full pumpkin. After you have painted all of the grooves with the green ivy paint, then you will start in the other areas and you will paint those with the blended, which is a metallic paint. Now you will need more than one coat of this. I think that I used about three coats. So you go over all of the entire pumpkins in the grooves, I mean not in the grooves, in the other part, and you paint it three times and then you let it dry. Once you do that, you if you want to, you can go over it a fourth time, but I like the way it gives translucent look and it's kind of coppery because the orange uh, that the pumpkin was to begin with is able to show through. Once that is complete, then you can remove the stem. And with the stem, I use three colors. I, first, I painted it the metallic gold. Then I put a little green on it and I wiped it away so that it wouldn't be too green so that some of the gold would show through. And then I topped it off with that lustrous red, just kind of at the top and just for some highlights. Now it's time for the stand for the pumpkin. So you take one dessert plate and it's a small candle holder and it's kind of, I would say, a little fluted. So you want to turn it upside down and you want to adhere that to your small dessert plate and you're going to spray the entire plate and the candle holder a satin black are not going to spray the top you're only going to spray the underneath so that the top because later on you can put food on top of it now it is time to style it so you can put it on top of your cake holder, or you could call it a pumpkin holder. I put some faux leaves around it, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And then you can display it on books, or wherever else in your home that you want to style it. If you have liked what you've seen, please subscribe, like, comment, and save. And remember to smile because smiling is the easiest form of exercise. Work those muscles.